All right, so uh, these are two more examples, but what are we going to do here? Um, we're still going to do M or N equals some stuff. We got to do the opposite. Notice on the last two problems, we added and subtracted. What math things are we going to do here? Multiply or divide. What is this negative 0 0.6 times M? Oops, I said I was going to say, uh, I was going to say, what is that 0 0.06 doing to the M? It's multiplying. What's the inverse of multiply? Division. So I'm going to divide this by negative 0 0.06. Uh, whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other, right? And I wrote it different both ways because sometimes kids will ask me, do I have to write 0 0.6? Well, it's good practice, but can you write negative 0.6? Yeah, it's the same thing. So let's plug this in the calculator, see what we get. Um, I've got, oops, whoa, Windows 10, stop. All right, here we go. Um, negative 5.1 divided by negative 0.6. Hit enter, we'll bam with the bacon sizzle. I got 8.5. Now, what's negative, well, let me back up. What is anything divided by itself equal? No, it equals 1, right? What's 1 times M? M, right? We don't have to put the 1. And then over here, I've got 8.5. That's an 8. Lord, so hard to draw with these things. All right, let's let's uh, let's go over here and do this one. Um, what is this negative 8 doing to the N mathematically right now as you look at it? Huh? Did you say irritating it? Uh, well, mathematically, we're dividing. So what's the inverse of dividing? <laughs> multiply. So I'm going to multiply by negative 8 on this side. Remember, whatever we do on one side. Yep, got to do it to the other side. What's negative 8 divided by negative 8? It's, no, not 0. 1. What's 1 times n? Just n. And then over here, I'm going to say 1.75. Oh. <gasps> Not two, it's five uh, times. And you could just see how I did this negative eight. You could do this in the calculator. Probably, though, it's a good practice to do the parentheses thing. Um, that way you won't make a mistake. All right. So anyways, it's negative uh, 14. Ooh, double checking my work. Man, I'm doing good. Only one mistake today. Pull that down leave it up for a second so you guys can finish copying it down. Again, I want to remind you while we're doing these, Mr. Adams is doing them on the calculator. It's very easy to sit in your desk and go, oh, okay, you just plug it in the calculator, but I really want you to pick up the calculator and practice it. Get familiar with where the buttons are, what to hit, when to hit it. Um, that would be awesome.